So I was sitting here just working on my game, getting stuff done when it got super boring and it got super tedious because I was working on some of my sprites and it came time to work on the animation because I already drew everything. And as I started making each individual frame, like you usually do in a sprite animation, uh, I decided to just kind of Google solutions for how to animate sprites. And I found this program called Spriter and I had heard of Spriter before. I even used it like many, many years ago, I think. And uh, I never really like got into it. Like I think I maybe used it for like five or 10 minutes. So I watched some tutorials on it or something, but I watched the first two tutorial videos. I downloaded it and I was like, oh my God, I had to buy it. It was super, super simple. Uh, like it was just insane to use and it allowed me to animate what would have taken me, you know, four five, six hours in like 20 minutes. And not only that, but I think the animations just work better. I was able to show like weight going up and down. Um, I will show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. I, this is my character with no head because, uh, the head is separate in my game, but I have a little walk animation going and I have a run animation. Uh, and you see like the character goes up and down and that kind of stuff is really hard to do right when you're doing it frame by frame. Uh, it's just, it's difficult, but even little things like the, um, the broken heart and the satchel kind of, you know, go bounce up and down. And this to me like kind of blew my mind. Cause I was just like, why have I been doing things the hard way all this time? Like what, why didn't I just Google for solutions to this stuff that I, I know there's solutions out there. Right. And, you know, a couple uh, days ago, I was on a stream with one of our fellow, uh, members of the game of underground, uh, kindred dev. Uh, he does streams occasionally where he teaches, uh, art and he's a fantastic artist. He's, his art is amazing. And I look up to him for sure. And, uh, I popped in one of his streams and he was teaching 2d art and I was like, hell yeah, let me learn this. Cause it's something where, where I can definitely improve on. And he was using Inkscape and he just said that, you know, he tried illustrator, he was good at it, but Inkscape was just faster. And as I, as I started watching him, I realized that little tiny little things like mirroring an object, like picking a color, uh, things were just easier in Inkscape, right? And maybe it, it would save 10 seconds here, 10 seconds there. But I decided to download Inkscape and oh my God, it's just so much faster and it may be 10 seconds per thing, but I'm saving a ton of time overall drawing in Inkscape and now animating in Spryder. And so the message today is like super short. It's super simple. Google stuff that you do often. See if there's a faster way to do it. Ask people. Occasionally like think about this stuff, right? Don't just go through the motions and like keep doing what you've always done. It's it's okay to adapt your workflow. It's okay to upgrade stuff. It's okay to just kind of look into alt alternative solutions because you know, we sometimes we get wrapped up in these day-to-day -day cycles of doing the same thing and we've done it a hundred times so we keep doing it. And same thing like I'm using Construct, right? I might look at other engines and see if there's better, faster ways to do it. And it's just kind of been opening my mind like, there might be better and faster ways to do the stuff that I do every day. And like a lot of times we hear about this stuff, but we don't want to like learn something new yet, or we want to just like focus on the thing that we know how to do. And it's scary to like use a program or any of that stuff. Uh, but sometimes it's just worth it. Sometimes taking the time to learn something, uh, will repay you many, many thousands of times, uh, you know, in the future by just learning it and, and being able to use it and being faster and being quicker. So that's my message for you today. I hope you found it useful. Let's start a thread here because I know there's plenty of lovely game developers out there. Uh, what are some productivity tools that you use to speed up your workflow in game development, whether it's sprites, animation, 3d modeling, whatever it is, share all the hacks down below. I'm going to be reading through all the comments because, you know, these past couple of days having done this and just speed up my workflow, like incredibly by just kind of being open-minded and switching a few programs. Uh, it's been insane. So share your stuff down below and we'll all give it a read. We'll all give it a thumbs up. We'll all comment our own stuff and it'll be fun. So I'll see you in the comments. My name is Tim Russwick. See you again tomorrow.